Hey, I'm Luca Raumland from Greenline Yards and today we give you a walkthrough of the Greenline 40 here in our test center in Portorož, Slovenia. It's December 12th, it's 8 degrees outside, it's not the nicest day but we hope you enjoy the tour. Before we do the tour I would like to tell you a bit about the history of the Greenline 40. The first one was actually launched already in 2011. Now it's December 2023, so there's quite a few years in between. The boat has still the same hull, the same shape, the same roof, but all the rest is not the same anymore. Over the years, we developed the boat in quality and in uh, equipment and everything on board. Now we produce the boat in vinyl Leicester resin, for example. We give a five years Moses warranty, which was in the past of polyester and there might have been some issues in the early days. Um, we have now solar panel standard with much higher power than it was in the past. All interior woodwork is now made of real wood, which was in the past of plastic. So you see the boat really evolved over the years to a very high standard 40-footer powerboat. Not even mentioning the hybrid system that over the years developed now to the sixth generation already. So here we have a pair of Yanmar 250s paired with two electric motors on board. So this is a completely different system than what it was 12 years ago. So let's start the tour and I hope you will like it. So just leaving here with the Greenland 40 out of the marina in Porto Roche. And you may notice the silence. We are leaving obviously in electric mode. You can see that we're moving. And I'm not sure if you can even notice on the camera the noise. The only noise you hear is basically the shaft turning or the propeller moving in the water. You maybe hear some of the water. It's an absolute difference than leaving a marina in diesel mode. And maybe to give you really the absolute comparison, I can put the boat on neutral and easy as that, switch into diesel mode. And you hear these two Yanmar 4LV 250 horsepower kicking in. And this can also be fun. So 24 knots top speed. 50 liters per engine, 100 liter consumption is possible, but it's obviously not our target. So let's switch that boat back to electric, that I can give you the tour. And it's as simple as going back to neutral, switching off the diesel engines, and you are automatically in electric mode again. So before we start the tour outside, I would like to point out one very special feature of this boat. You may notice now that you have from the helm station, throughout the salon, the galley, the cockpit and the platform, only one level. There's not a single step. This is not only comfort for your toes, it does not only look nice, it's also just 35 centimeter, one foot above the waterline. So if you notice this here, we are so close to the waterline that you have a very low center of gravity. That gives that boat an enormous stability during navigation, on anchor, wherever you are. And if you may notice, we are still driving in electric mode and you can't hear anything. So here we have a very open space cockpit concept. You can put either your towels or inflatables or anything there and have a beach club. Or you can put it away and take your teak table and director chairs out and make a dinner setting. But afterwards take it away and have a very nice open space again. So then let's go from the cockpit to the bow. So you notice again the protected sidewalks like on all the green lines. And then here in the front we have the anchor arrangement. So here we have the stainless steel anchor which is an upgrade. It comes standard with the galvanized. And then the fair leads and the cleats here on the bow. And then as well if you remove the pin you have a, an easy access through the bow as well. And here we have the optional sunbed that uh, comes here with a little hatch on the front. You can open the hatch of the owner's cabin for natural ventilation. There's also a bimini that now here in December is in the winter storage. But when you put the headrest up, the bimini up, you have a nice little shade. 
can read a book and enjoy the sun hopefully soon again. You get the three windscreen wipers obviously with wash again and then one of the key features are the six solar panels on the roof. So these six solar panels here behind me give you an average charge on a sunny day between 8 up to 9 kilowatt. It can be more in some very sunny regions, it can be 6 or 7 in not so sunny regions, but in that area. On the Green Line 40 with 4 to 5 people on board, we say the average consumption per day is 5 to 6 kilowatt without air conditioning. This includes again fridge, freezer, uh, music, TV, uh, charging of phones, laptops, coffee machine, everything included. This is the average consumption per day, which means on that boat, doesn't matter if hybrid or not, just from the standard battery that we deliver and the standard solar panels we deliver, you have enough power on board to be on anchor and have power supply. So again, like on all our Green Line models, there's a very wide and protected sidewalk, not only for comfort, uh, also for safety. And on top of that, we extend the roof that obviously we want for more solar panels, but also gives additional shade to the glass of the saloon, which uh, heats the saloon less up in summer and you need less air conditioning or hopefully no air conditioning. Back in the cockpit again, we have the sideboarding gate that comes as a standard on the Green Line 40. Not only here on the starboard side, but also on the port side, we have the same little door. So let's have a look at the interior. We'll just open the sliding door. And then open the fold-up window. Pull out the bar supports. And we create one nice social area between the galley and the cockpit. In the galley we have an uh, induction stove with two hops. We have some uh, garbage uh, area here, second garbage area there that you can actually empty from the outside. There's a little door outside that used to be the gas bottle storage when we used to have a uh, gas hop still. So we made use out of that. There's a Kerok worktop with a built-in sink, microwave, oven function, lots of storage all around. And on the other side we have the fridge and the freezer compartment. Again this is here like a fridge at home. And I want to point out again that this is a conventional 220 volt or 110 volt fridge that runs only off the battery charged by the solar. No generator running here, we are at the sea, no shore power and freezer is cold. So further on in the salon area, lots of more storage, all here below. There's a pop-up TV that comes out, 45 inch. And on the other side is a seating area. So we would have a four to five people seating ready here. If you put two or three director chairs more, you could make a setting up to eight. Obviously don't have to, but uh, six people comfortably could have a dinner here. That table, by the way, is lowable. So there's also a cushion and it can make a day bed. Further on the front, you have a little co-pilot seat. So if you have a longer trip and you wanna chat during the trip, then you can have a seat here. Or if you're the captain, then you have a seat on the other side. And on the helm station, we get all the instruments we need. We have the plotter here. It's a very nice new interface now also for the hybrid software. Can show you that in detail here um, later. And then you get the autopilot, your battery uh, status, the Yanma displays, throttles, uh, both thrusters, and obviously like on all the green lines, the side door on the helm station. This comes in really handy. If you have to move sideways somewhere on the fuel station or if you have a, a side docking pontoon, you just go dock on the side, use your thrusters, you have the cleat right here, take one step out, put the line over and you can maneuver the boat basically alone. One option on this boat is the full beam glass electric opening sunroof. So now below deck in the guest cabin, there's a little hatch here on the top that uh, gives you some more natural ventilation inside the cabin. Then we have here two single beds that can be pushed together to a double. 
then that little chair I'm sitting on and then there's a wardrobe on the side and storage all the way above here. Then from the guest inside the master cabin we have two different uh, bed options here so the standard bed we call it a scissor berth so there's two single beds on the outside that you can push together or push apart or on this model the owner chose the queen size bed with storage below which I think is a very nice option for this model. And then you have storage all around the ceiling and on both sides. You get the TV here. This boat has the air condition. You can have air condition or diesel heating you can choose. And apart from the reading lights you may notice there's also the uh, USB sockets and the USB-C sockets to charge all your devices while sleeping. All around the coach roof of the master cabin, you see it's all glass, so this gives you a, a lot of natural light inside the cabin. And then from the master cabin, we have a look inside the bathroom. We get the classic layout with the sink, electric toilet. The electric toilet here is a fresh and salt water flush combined as a standard. So there's a valve where you can choose if you want to flush fresh or salt water. This gives you the benefit on a longer vacation to save on your fresh water tank, but you can still flush the system fresh before you put the boat back in the marina to avoid the smelly uh, salt water effect that you get after a while. And then you get this enclosed shower space here inside. I think it's really nice and big, even with a little seat. Shower here, handles there, everything that's needed. So with this step, we are now already at the end of our tour. I really hope you like the Green Line 40. And I think in Green Line Yards, we are really proud after 12 years, this boat in production, more than 200 boats delivered, that we never stopped improving this boat, make it even better. And we have one more feature for you. With the Green Line app, you're online with your boat all the time. So you see the position here, this is the trip we just did and you have several features for example there's the geofence feature where you can say I want to have an anchor alarm or just boat movement alarm um, you have even the alarm later on your Apple watch if you like you have a motion sensor so if somebody steps inside or opens the door you would get an alarm you get all your trips recorded that you drove in the past with your boat and on the sensors, you see the service batteries, bilge pumps on off, uh, shore power connected or disconnected. You also would get a notification if you like when your shore power would get disconnected. Um, then the, the fuel tanks, fresh water tanks, engine hours, and many more features even on the desktop version. I think this is really a really, really cool feature. So see you at one of the next boat shows. I hope you liked the video. Leave a comment and see you soon.